friends, it's the Midi Man again, coming at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for today. Um, mind you that so much still going on in our land, in our world. But nevertheless, God is not surprised when we fail, but we must get back up when we fail and just try to continue to do what's right, even in the midst and when it's so easy to do what's wrong sometimes. So today, we gonna, I'm just going to read one verse of scripture. It come from Psalm 27. 27 vision Psalm. First verse it said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And we're going to say, May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. That verse of scripture there, it acts, it tells us that the Lord is my light and he is my salvation. It asks me two questions. It said, since he's my light and my salvation, it said, whom shall I fear? Then it said that the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Well, that lets us know, people, that if God is the strength of my life, who is able to withstand against God? So you have nothing to fear. No enemy can touch you. No enemy. If you're in God's hand. It says, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light. And he's my salvation. He shall, he shall deliver me from the hands of the enemy and the wicked one. You know, we, we, I often think about the Hebrew boys. The Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And for those of you that don't know the story, it is when King Nebuchadnezzar, he, he created, a, he made an image, beautiful image. Uh, and he told them, whenever you hear the music, the people of all the land must bow down to this image. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were being Hebrew boys. They believed in the God of Abraham. And they have no other gods before him, and they would not bow. And they refused to bow down to the king's image. Matter of fact, you can imagine at the time when the music sounded, you got millions of people bowing, and then only three standing. You know they stood out like a sore throng, thumb. But nevertheless, they said, King, you can put us in your fiery furnace. He said, you can't do that. He said, but now, the God that we serve, he's able to deliver us out of your fiery furnace. But even if he don't deliver us, we still ain't going to do what you want. You know, I like that. I mean, that, that is bold. I love that. I, I mean, I would, I, would, I would hope and I would I did have that same boldness had I be put to that same test or one just like it unto it. But how many times, people, do we compromise with truth? We compromise ourselves and our standards and our morals just to please other folk. You know they are wrong, but you don't want nobody to be mad at you so you don't say nothing and you go along with it. Matter, matter of fact, you might as well go along with it if you don't say anything when something is wrong and you don't challenge it. That's just like you going along with it to a degree, especially if you're gonna take part in it. If you don't like a if you don't like a thing, I ain't saying that sometimes you ain't you just got to raise a whole lot of sand about it, but you should let everybody know what whose side you on. If you don't like something, let it be known, and that's what the Hebrew boys done. They did not compromise their position. They did not compromise their faith. They could have said, well, you know, we ain't but one time, y'all. It ain't going to be about a few minutes and we can be, do, you know, we can go on and do it and be through with it. No, they didn't do that. How many times have we compromised ourselves when it came to right and wrong just for a moment of pleasure? Or for filthy lucre's sake? We as Christians, we fall down 
as Donnie McClurkin said, we fall down, but get back up. See, this is just the point. We all get wrong. But the thing about it is just don't stay wrong. And like I say, be have a conviction. Be sure of your salvation. Be sure of your calling. If you it said, if Baal be Baal, serve Baal. But if God be God, serve him. Why are we torn between two opinions? Prophet Elijah told him that. The prophets of Baal. So with that being said, in these days and time we're living in, it's going to get real critical. You're going to have to choose what side you're going to be on. If, you, if, if, if you're going to serve Satan, serve him. Do it good. But if you're going to serve God, do that good also. But we cannot be torn between two opinion people. No. You're going to either serve God with all our heart or none at all. Period. He's not going to take second best. And when we fall down and make mistakes, we, all we have to do is get back up. That's all we got to do, people. Get back up. Pray and go on. And stop compromising with the truth and what is right. Trying to please people. I keep telling people, I keep warning us. We going to end up going to hell in a handbasket trying to people please. You are never going to be able to serve to satisfy everybody. Never. Not none of the time. Because you, if you satisfy this group, this one's going to be mad. And you try to do something to satisfy that group, this group going to get mad. You're never going to satisfy everybody. You just do what's right and cut the debt. That's all you got to do. That's what Jesus did. Jesus done what was right. Regardless of who liked it or didn't like it, he did what was right. Matter of fact, Jesus was put on the cross because he... The people was mad. Jesus was healing people and wasn't charging them. The doctors was mad. Jesus was feeding people, 5,000 at the time or more, and he wasn't sending them to the grocery store. So the market people was mad because he was, he was messing up their business. Jesus was, Jesus, Jesus was crucified for, for a lot of reasons. But he always had us on his mind from, from, from the creation. From the foundation of the world, he always had us on his mind. If we had been the only one, if I had been the only one, if you had been the only one, he still would have died on that cross and suffered the shame and the anguish and the pain that he went through just for you and just for me if we were the only one. So I feel like it is all, it's the least we could do. We should want to serve him. We should want to do all our all to serve him. And that means also serve our fellow man. We cannot love God whom we've not seen and yet hate our fellow man that we walk with every day. And I know it's not easy. Some, some of us are not lovely at all. And it's very hard. But we must love you in spite of you. you got to love me in spite of me if we're going to have the love of Christ. And all the time we don't do we don't do as Christ would do, want us to do. A lot of those guys, some mean, hateful ways. But nevertheless, we still have to love them. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So like I said, this is Mitty Man. And it's getting as far spent over the summers. Over half gone, just about it. We got a lot of things that we need to try to do music-wise at Walker's Music. But we are going to trust in the Lord that everything will be all right. And we will get things done in his time. So this is Mitty Man saying, I hope these little clips are helping someone. And if it's not but one, it's all worth it. And we're going to say peace and goodbye.